and Shepard side by side into turn three. They split the lap car in turn three. Burnell's got a problem. Four wide for the race lead. Alex Payne, the winner, and he is Jimmy Grant trying to stuff it up through the middle. Johnson wins at Canadagua. That sign, but that sign. Green flag is out. Much better start that time. Try to have as even a start as we can. And that was a good one there. And Gray will continue to lead into turn number three as everybody sorting it out for position. Bobby Perro trying to make some early moves here as we put lap one on the board to Ethan Gray. Timmy Lotz and Matt Rotz. What a night for Matt Rotz in that 77. They'll battle for second here into three and four. Rotz down on the bottom. Lotz up top. And now here comes the 38 of Jason Whipple. Richie Yan and crew, great job during intermission. What a great track we've got here for the features tonight. Top, middle, and bottom, all being worked by the sprint cars right now. Wow, Bobby Perro almost clipped that tire coming off of four. Oh, that was a cheek clinching moment right there. Man, that, that guy put a rabbit's foot in that car. He has just had bad luck so many times with fast race cars. Let's see what he can do with this fast race car. This was a new car to his team coming into this season and what a great start he got. Bobby Perro moves up to second here on the restart and now going to work on Ethan Gray. But Gray's got the momentum on the high side. Five laps into this one and Perro all over the tail tank of Gray. One of the younger competitors in the field going up against one of the elder statesmen, we'll say. Perro with a slide job in turn four. Gray's trying to turn it back underneath him. Could not get there to turn number one. And now the battle's on for second. Oh, Matt Rotz, hold on to her. He got into the slick stuff there into turn one, and the back end almost came around on him. He'll tuck it back in the line. Ruggles is right there. Boy, Ruggles got in the loose stuff up in the top of three. He gathers it back in. That car looks really, really tight on the exit of the corner. He's turning the wheels, but the wheels just aren't turning the car off of the corner. And Whipple. Whipple applying the pressure here to Ruggles in the 48 Junior. Ruggles got a little loose on the top of three, and here comes Whipple. Try to get the advantage off of turn four. Couldn't make it work. So even though Ruggles slides the back end of the car going into turn three, he's able to keep the car straight the rest of the way through the corner, and he's able to keep his momentum up. And here you go again. Ruggles slides the outside a little bit, but he opened up the door for Whipple, and here they go. Here with three to go. Oh, and Whipple slid the tires in one and two, and he's going to lose the advantage. Pants are on. John Smith in the 23 came up lame on the back straightaway. And with a lap and a half to go, Bobby Perro's advantage went from a full straightaway to having Ethan Gray on the back bumper for this next restart. For the always locked self storage restart point. Green lights are on with two laps to go. Perro has been king on restarts tonight, and he just got another great one. Ethan Gray got an awesome restart himself, but man, Perro pulled a couple of car lengths on him here to the white flag. White flag is out, and Ethan Gray is charging. He closed the gap ever so slightly off of turn four that time, but Perro looks like he's got the ponies to three and four. For the second time in 2022, BP53 is going to the lane. Ethan Gray, a career best second place effort. Matt Rotz, a career best third place effort. And behind them, it's Jason Whipple and Daryl Ruggles, the top five. Up on the wing, well, maybe not up all the way, but close enough. He has got things going on. And in here, don't you? Well, uh, yeah, I got a lot of... Uh... A lot of good help. Good, perfect crew. Uh, I got Dan. I got Charlie. Charlie Doverspike, Mike Forty, uh, Steve Kemp, and uh, Charlie's brother Jerry. 
Uh, Tommy does a great job for us all. Uh, Jeff Hand built the motor. Things outstanding so far. I mean, it's just perfect, spot on. How big?